Hey guys, Crypto Sunday, and it's a green week. We broke above the uh, recent high, um, not by too much, and sort of obviously this could get easily knocked down by uh, some sort of very minor news, but we'll take it while we can. So it's up about 9,000, uh, 3.5%, uh, but yeah, let's uh, have a look at the news. So something I wasn't really expecting to see, but uh, I suppose it doesn't come as a massive surprise. Uh, Michael Saylor's been at it again, uh, bought $600 million worth of Bitcoin in November. Uh, they're also looking to raise uh, $750 million in a sale of more stock, which uh, you can guess what uh, that would be going on. Um, but I didn't think he would, like now they've gone into profit again, I didn't think he'd be going sort of quite so aggressive. Uh, this is buying 16,000 Bitcoin, so that's 10% of uh, what they held. And they're now at 174,530 um, at an average of 30,252. So uh, it's been noted that uh, every sort of $1,000 in uh, price appreciation on Bitcoin, uh, MicroStrategy will now make $174 million. Uh, so that is quite some leverage. And, uh, yeah, he's sort of still going aggressive. Um, he has said that they would they would be buying throughout uh, the sort of bear market and the bull market. He's not really too bothered what it is because he sees this as the long term. You know, we all know what he sees it as. So, yeah, I just thought that was uh, interesting that they're still sort of going pretty hard and sort of issuing 750 million in stock. If he's allowed to do that, then he'll be going uh, Sort of equally as hard. A bit more uh, institutional money coming in as well. Uh, looking at the coin shares um, inflows. Uh, it's received a new high on uh, inflows for sort of the last last year. Um, and most of this has been going into Bitcoin. Uh, no surprises there. Uh, 311 million uh, US dollars uh, into Bitcoin. Uh, 33 million into Ethereum. Uh, a little bit in the multi-asset. Uh, three and a half million into Solana, though. That just sort of seems fairly consistent. Uh, 40 million for the last uh, month. So that's good. That's for all of November. Um, we'll get the sort of start of December news uh, shortly. Uh, a little bit coming out of Litecoin and people sort of getting out of uh, shorting Bitcoin because that's just got to be painful, I would imagine. Uh, a little bit going into XRP and Cardano and... Uh, others seeing outflows so yeah interesting and they're all going into the uh, canadian etfs and uh, the german etfs a little bit in uh, switzerland and then the us i guess this is the uh, futures products which no one likes to see because futures is manipulation but hopefully we get the uh, the sort of bullish etf news by january the 10th this was a surprising one. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo facing a large uh, class action lawsuit over the Binance endorsement. Uh, obviously, a lot of other people have been, you know, hauled over the coals. Sort of Kim Kardashian and uh, various celebrities for sort of uh, endorsing, um, you know, scam coins, basically. But um, endorsing Binance, I mean, Binance haven't gone bust, so... Uh, I can't imagine people have lost lost their coins. They might have lost money um, on you know various coins that went down in the bear market, but uh, that's a bit like suing your stockbroker because your stocks go down. You know, um, it does say that uh, I didn't realise he issued an NFT collection, uh, so I'm guessing they may have lost sort of vast majority of their money. Um, so yeah, that's maybe unregistered securities uh, featuring animated figures depicting moments from his career that was uh, maybe a mistake but yeah for just endorsing Binance um, I can't really see that you can have too much against him uh, even if he was um, you know endorsing unregistered securities I mean you've presumably if you, you if you followed him and used Binance you have still got your coins it's not like uh, FTX you know the people being sort of sued for that so yeah, I thought this was a bit harsh, um, although I am quite a fan of uh, of Ronaldo. And the ARK Invest and Coinbase selling uh, continues. Uh, it does look like she's never going to uh, change her rules. Uh, they've been buying a lot of Coinbase in, 
in the bear market and that sort of is starting to pay off i guess um but you know she's not exactly a, a buy and hold type person sort of the coinbase position got quite large and they still have seem to have a strict rule about sort of 10 percent of uh, the portfolio being in one stock so if you sort of buy almost up to uh, you know eight nine ten percent of your portfolio in you know in coinbase in the bear market and then it starts to really run then it's very quickly going to get to 10 percent and you just end up selling sort of selling quite a lot uh, fairly early in the run i would say um so i do think you know it's worth pointing out this doesn't mean she's bearish on the stock you keep getting headlines you know like this offloading another 4.7 million and people start you know by extension saying Kathy's sort of bearish and predicting a crash and all that that's nonsense uh, it's purely that uh, she sets a hard limit of 10 percent it seems on uh, any one holding so yeah it just means that you get this continuous sort of headwind if you like that they own quite a lot of the company and every time it goes up from 10 percent to 11 percent or 12 percent you know she's going to be selling 5 million 15 million of uh, stock so you've got a continuous seller um i think you know maybe much better to uh, just sort of hold um, until say the end of uh, you know middle to the end of next year and then sort of sell down uh, whatever it is sort of take profits a bit uh, less frequently if you know uh, probably the bull market is going to run till sort of 2025 sometime but yeah that's uh, that's her rule so you can probably expect to see this uh, every month and we mentioned the ultrasound money uh, eth going um, inflationary again for a short period and that has fully reversed it seems uh, last seven days uh, down 11,000 eth which is good um, but it's not sort of a temporary drop. It's been the last month just sort of continuous uh, downwards, which is very good. Uh, looking at the sort of uh, since the merge, uh, it sort of came down and we started to get worried that uh, it was rising up. Maybe sort of um, activity moving on to the layer twos. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, it's uh, it's come back down and this sort of seems to be a uh, a, at least a short term trend so if this carries on that's just uh, bullish for ethereum um, whether you know long term we do get more activity translating onto the uh, layer twos and sort of less eth usage we don't know but i mean even if it's flat that's uh, that is to be fair still better than bitcoin so even a small inflation would be uh, slightly better than bitcoin but yeah we'll have to uh, see where that goes that's you know if it's reasonably deflationary in uh, into the bull market that could be really strong so it's not been a super hectic week but just looking at uh, at the coins for the week uh, bitcoin up 3.3 percent that's been pretty good just steadily going up um sort of all the time whether it's uh, just etf hope and we're going to get a denial and it'll sort of rock it back down or or they get approved and you sort of get one massive candle upwards and then a great big correction following that who knows but yeah interesting to watch um solana 8.3 percent up that's pretty good broke 50 pound which is rather nice uh, i'm still in the uh, nfts which is sort of underperforming so i don't technically hold quite that much solana but i'm just sort of showing this for you know tax reasons and sort of assuming that uh, by the time that you get into the bull market the uh, nfts hopefully will come back um ethereum two and a half percent up uh, slightly underperforming bitcoin but there you go uh chain link 3.9 percent up that's very good uh, cardano down half a percent and xrp down um one percent uh, xrp just doesn't want to go up it's uh, it's very strange i'm guessing they need some sort of you know big bullish news for them to go up um power ledger up one percent fair enough uh matic three and a half percent up uh audius one percent down um quant three point four percent down that's uh, similar to xrp really just doesn't want to go up at the moment um gala half percent up uh basic attention token nine percent up that's pretty good 
uh, VChain 3.5% down and internet computer is flat. So not really uh, getting this sort of huge move on uh, on the altcoins at the moment, but it still looks pretty good. So yeah, we'll uh, wait for more news, I guess. It's all a little bit quiet at the moment, but only uh, four or five weeks to go until the big news. Or, you know, before that's the deadline for the big news that could happen before then. But let's hope. So leave your thoughts in the comments below and like and subscribe. See you soon.